I'm Mark. And I'm Morgan. This is Willow, and we are Grove, Grove Electric. Electric. <laughs> Today we are about to embark on a very snowy tree trip. Tree. Oh, tree. <laughs> trip. She wants the treats. She gets all the treats. But yes, we are about to go on our first snowy trip. Um, I'm sitting in the back with Willow because I got about like four hours of sleep, and so I'm going to take a little nap as Marky here drives. So here we go. Right, so one thing to note is that uh, we definitely are seeing a lot, well, not maybe not a lot, but definitely seeing some range loss with the cold weather. And we only made it right into Connecticut, uh, starting the Merritt Parkway, which is the way we travel up north. And the one supercharging station we just pulled into, they are all occupied except for one, and the one that is open does not work. So that is definitely a bummer, but I just found another supercharger up the road. So we're gonna head there now. And uh, Morgan has been sleeping the entire time. Yep. Can't wait to get out and stretch those legs. Right, Willie? Wanna walk? Headed home today. Christmas is officially over and so is my beard. Very sad about that. But it was extremely enjoyable to hang out with family and friends and just enjoy the holidays, enjoy each other's company. We had a great time and uh, Willow had a great time as well. She's exhausted. All the new smells, all the new people, which aren't really new to her anymore, but she still thinks they are. Yeah, so we were able to start our day with about 88% state of charge by using our Tesla mobile connector connected to a level one, just a standard 120 volt outlet. So it took a long time, but we were there for a couple days and we got 88% state of charge. We're going to be headed to Connecticut for our first charging stop and maybe possibly our only charging stop. It's a beautiful day. But it's a chilly one. It is, you know, December, so it's like not even 30 degrees as we're leaving. So I hope it gets to 30 degrees. That's really a major goal. All right, so we are here in New Haven, Connecticut at a supercharging location because the car is so heavy with Christmas gifts that we were unable to successfully make it to the charging location that we would normally stop at. But this charging location is epic. Okay, when you come in, there is a beautiful solar array here, and there's also charging all along these parking lots, and 12, 12 supercharging locations. So we're going to go ahead and plug in here. And we're charging. But let's talk about these solar array stations. Well, the solar coverings over here and what is connected to them. Oh, Willow, she is on the move. I think she might need to use the restroom. Check this out. These solar coverings all have two J1772 or J1772, however you want to call it, connectors here. So this is the J717. 1772 connector. This is what every other vehicle besides Tesla uses in the United States. And let me tell you, it's not as good. You can still use it, but you need to use an adapter. That's what we use at the house. But I'm telling you, the Tesla connector is far superior. Time. Oh my gosh, is it windy and cold? <laughs> so, um, Ikea, they do offer charging for their customers here. We have a charge point station, and again, they it's for the J1772. Of course, you can't disconnect them without paying, of course, and setting up your charge with them. So, 
Um, but again, this is for all those other vehicles besides Tesla, but there's only two of them. There is that large lot in the back that Mark just showed you um, for all the other vehicles too, the J1772s, but there's only two here provided by IKEA. On top of the car being very heavy because of Christmas gifts, it is also 30 degrees outside. Mm -hmm. It is absolutely frigid. It's brutal. So yeah, that doesn't help either. And Willow, of course, you know, who likes to sit in the car for three hours, four hours, however many hours. She doesn't enjoy it really. So I just did a little jog with her in the blistering cold and she enjoyed it. I think she got her puppy energy out, but whew, Well, there's another pro My to- eyes are watering. There's another pro to Tesla ownership. <laughs> when you stop to charge, you can do a little exercise. So boom, it's even healthier that way. But no, seriously, uh, it's, it's freaking cold. <laughs> it's really cold. And the battery is showing that coldness too. Well, we got a few minutes left, about mm -hmm. five minutes left, and then we'll be at 80% and be back on our way to home. Yeah. Yeah, I am ready to go and drive away, and so I'm going to give it a go on these highways with these crazy drivers and these frigid cold temperatures, but I think it's time that I try to drive home because I don't like to drive home usually, but... I'm feeling a little brave today. <laughs> um, I guess I just chill. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Well, it's lunch times, and honestly, we were so blessed with Christmas that our car is stuffed, stuffed to the gills. And so we are not going to make it home. We made it up to Rhode Island in one stop. We are definitely stopping right now to charge and also to fuel up our bellies. We found this pretty cool place that's kind of like an outlet outdoor outlet place you know it's kind of cool yeah it's got panera panera which is good yes. we could probably make it but it would be tight uh yeah we actually it was saying mark was sleeping but it was saying that we were going to make it and then like 30 minutes ago it said you're going to arrive with negative two percent and i said uh oh so i woke him up and we quickly found a place and honestly since it's that holiday weekend and the hustle and bustle all the chargers were full, so we had to get way off the highway, and we found this nice low-key place, which is much better, much more our style to charge, so. Yeah, so yeah. time to get our steps in. And get Willow out to go walking. Panera, you're great. We love your chipotle chicken avocado melt. It is super duper good. It was so good. But I was nervous because I used a restroom in there, and my urinal was all the way on the ground. Like, it was so kid friendly that I was worried that I was gonna get like this little miniature portion, but thankfully it did not let us down. And we got the like last piece of the bread. So it was just, oh, it was incredible. It was so good. Anyway, I'm done <laughs> driving, you know, that was enough, two hours. And here we go, we got just a little bit more until home. Now that we're charged up, we can make it. We're full, we're not gonna be hangry in the car. That's no fun for anyone involved. And um, yeah, looks like it finally got up above 30. So we're moving right along and we're definitely going to make it home. No problems. Yeah, I had to break out the Oakleys because now the sun is directly in my face and I cannot drive. I have very fragile eyes, the baby blue eyes. So I need to break out the Oakley. Shout out to Oakley. We love you guys. And uh, if you guys think you know a better sunglass company, leave it down in the comments below. But I think I'm gonna stand by my Oakleys. All right, so after that long drive, we are finally home. Well, it's not that long of a drive, but it's long enough. And we had to stop and we went for a, a weird walk with Willow in the graveyard, graveyard. <laughs> because we didn't see any other grass nearby, so. And she had to go potty, so we just had to stop. There was no park, but a graveyard came in handy. Yeah, so uh, that explains our jackets and how freezing cold it is outside. But other than that, it was a great Christmas. We had a blast. It was so much fun. And now we have the uh, the great opportunity to unload this car and put everything away. This trip really showed us how much, um, if you really weigh down the car, they're not going to get the same amount of mileage that you're used to. So just keep that in mind if you have somewhere to go and have to bring back a lot of stuff. You're just going to have to find an extra place to charge, which is what this trip taught us. There is a difference between just two people and a dog going versus your whole car loaded up and two people and a dog going.
Yeah, and the fact that it was cold, that doesn't help either. But it is what it is. Still had a blast. It was so much fun. Yeah, stay tuned for the next road trip from Grove Electric. Please be sure to like and subscribe. <laughs> Dork. <laughs>